right, today is the day I go for the Adept speedrun. You might be asking, what is the Adept speedrun? To make it simple, there is an achievement you earn after you escape with each survivor, and they have one for killers, obviously, when you get a 4K, with obviously the three base perks that they give you in the game. I have compiled all 42 survivors into a PNG, and I'll be checking them off accordingly after every escape. To save you guys time, I'll be cutting down on the best moments, escapes, and fun plays. And my rules are simple. I can only use the perks assigned to each character. This is pretty obvious, that's what the Adept is. I must escape with each character, and this might take a bit, because after all, there are 42 characters in this game, through the hatch or through the exit gates. Items and offerings are off limits only items i collect in the trial may be used in this video all of this will be recorded live on my twitch in the description and hopefully today i can answer how long it takes to get every possible adept in this game and yes it took a very long time all things considered with a lot of ups and downs so i really hope you enjoy all right now we're officially a go first game all fairness jump in let's get it popping let's see how long this takes Bro, can y'all, like, get the box, man? All these frickin' chains, man. Just chain me up, Pinhead. Chain me up. Use the environments. Still alive, baby. In this pithead game, we did get stuck in a pretty nasty 3 gen. While I was trying to escape the match, which is taking a super long time, I wanted to spare you the majority of that match as the killer did play pretty efficiently. My next game, for some reason, I got this skull merchant that just refused to play, and I contemplated for a while whether I wanted to count it or not. However, I am kind of trying to do this challenge as fast as I can, and this really can just be DBD sometimes. So I licked my wounds and just moved on to Claudette. But you can see I did pretty much anything I could to get this skull merchant up and moving, and it was just kind of like a farming game, so I kind of just like took it and went on with my day. GG. GG. I mean, I guess I'm gonna count it. I mean, it kind of sucks to get games like this, but hey, an escape is an escape, and we also have, you know, so many. Uh, we have so many adepts to go, so um, I think I just gotta take this one. Let's do it. And man, are we just getting like dog pile maps, bro? Like this is this is this is an annoying map for sure. I will kill you. How this is gonna go. We could finish this, sure, sure, sure. Or oh, deliverance, nice, nice. Sweet. Oh my god, that was close. I did just deliver that I have... I can't see him because he's so freaking tiny, bro. I literally can't see him. Oh, I walked right into him. Well, the swamp is like perfect for Chucky. If he's gonna come back to this hook, I don't mind. Nice. Nice. Yes, sir. Feels good. Finish it, finish it, finish it. I have adrenaline. Please. Oh, goaded. Oh, goaded. No shot. <laughs> Gotta love adrenaline, man. That's amazing. Let's go. GG. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh, we got Midwitch. But we we're getting some terrible maps. Like back to back to back, man. Oh well, we got Claude. See what we can do. This is gonna be more of like a healing thing, but at least I'll be able to see people across the map injured, so it won't be too bad. And just when I managed to get my expectations up and for this challenge, DVD would start to run its course. 
At this current hour, it is extremely brutal to play this game as there is normally countless DCs, weird 3v1 situations at 4 gens, people giving up on hook almost every game, and I'll admit, I got a little tilted. And the killers did play well, don't get me wrong. A lot of these early games looking back, I played really awful. Exegate's powered and I couldn't manage to escape. I did manage to get some really good loops in. Got a Chucky game, quick DC, and we were pretty much out of that game. Then this Vecna game, we lost a teammate early, and it should have been my escape, but just couldn't finish the job. Next game, I had a slugging Wraith on the game, and just constantly went down after getting up. It was absolutely brutal. However, after shaking those games off, I had gotten some hope back and decided to lock in. I'm also not doing good maps either. At least fun maps at all. Alright, Swamp it is. A third time tonight. I'm gonna go downstairs instead. Oh, I didn't think you chased me. Oh, he has Hex Blood Favor. Hex of blood favors. I hit my hook right here. I was just thinking that. Circle of Boon, though, that's nice. No, I run into the wall. That's awful. I also haven't got hit yet with that, so I'm fine with it. I should heal up. Gotta play the long game here. It was too long of not getting Claude's Adept, man. I just, I had to. It's the agitation. Try to make a Sabo play. Oh, stupid. Four characters in two hours, bro. Claudette slowed us down a lot. Four games with Claudette was horrible. Haha. <laughs> Had to make a Sabo play, baby. And yeah, when I meant lock in, I was locked in for one game because after that, I just got rolled the entire rest of the night for like seven matches straight. So yeah, enjoy my death montage. Um, not the most ideal start, but that brings us to the end of day one. And let's come back strong for day two. We'll start off on the aliens home. I did make some really good Sabo plays with Jake, but I, I just couldn't manage to get like multiple escapes or even any. Oh, hi, I smelled her. She was so close. Oh, she has hubris. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I'm, you know, because I'm injured. She might have lost me a little bit because I do have iron well. Iron well is goaded, my boy. Like, yeah, I have hubris, bro. I'm exposed again. I think she knows I have iron wall now. Oh, okay. No, Ed. Yeah, I'm out. I'm lagging extremely hard. I gotta go. I'm probably just gonna end up dying. But I can't play around with no, Ed. No, thank you, sir. Take that balance landing.
Hopefully we can stay alive long enough for her to do gens. Oh, this isn't a paladin. This is just this is just a window. Fake. It was a good fake too. Chuckster. Hubris. Interesting. We will finish it. We bounce Sunny to the door. GG. Alright, we are on to Bill. Mr. Unbreakable. Left behind borrow time. Two no mither gamers. Interesting. Hey, but hey, but guess what? Borrow time value. Oh, these dudes are gaming head on and everything. That's hilarious. I'm gonna get my points, but yeah, we got the escape with Bill, man. Pretty quick, too. Back to back escapes, man. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, those dudes were absolutely fucking gamers, bro. We're gonna live forever and no mither. Oh, this is actually gonna probably be like the toughest one. I just realized that just because of no mither and the fact that I'll be injured. And man was I right, because permanently injured made this immensely harder, and for killers made me an easy target. It took me at least an hour for a forgiving clown to bless me with an escape and push me through this challenge. Yes! Finally! No mither! Oh my god. Maybe they have a perk that also switches? Maybe they have a perk like Nemesis or something that switches the obsession? You know, that could also be a thing. That circle of boom. Coming in clutch. Is there any pallets back here? I don't see any. I don't know where he went. I'll say I get this open. GG, Mr. Chuckster. Up to this point and towards the end of day two, I was feeling pretty good going into day three. I completed escapes with Nia and Bill back to back, and then after a horrible run with David, we completed David and Lori back to back. I came back from what have been just a miserable day. So let's go to day three. The majority of the gens are also upstairs, so I should probably be doing these. Oh, there's no gen in here. Interesting. Oh, it's a singularity. I don't think I'm making this palette. Yeah. It's fine, they got the gen done though. Thank you, sir. I feel way safer. Now we should be able to just get out for nothing. GG's. Hey, that's pretty quick, bro. First game. The ace. 
I'll have to adjust my time because uh, I did screw up that first game. But we got an ace. I'm gonna go for this window. This pallet window is actually pretty good. I don't know if you want to chase this. Ooh, he's gonna hook into the door. Smart. Very smart. Should be a free save. Hence should be. No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't commit. But, regardless, we got our thing done. Oh, we got... This is a Mac Millet. I thought it was a, thought it was a different map. Not gonna lie, this Legion game was like a war of attrition. Nothing really ideal happened as this Legion committed to long chases on my teammates and less pressure to generators. So gens flew and we just had to make a last few second saves to seal the four man escape. And the escape for Quinton. I'll try to like spin, do something weird. Oh, GG. They all got out. I'm literally backing myself and I'm literally getting stuck. I'm so sick of it. I didn't realize he was going to use his ability. I didn't think about it. Oh, he has bamboozle. That's what he's been rocking this whole time. He's been rocking that bamboozy. GG's! Let's go! Ooh, a Billy. Hey, this is gonna be a little bit of a refresher. I wonder if he has the scorings or it's just like barbecue. So he definitely knows where we are. That was risky. Fake. Wow. Well played. I might die here. Well played. GG. Sorry, Vision. That no ed kind of got me. Man, I keep doing this thing where I keep reading about outfits. Like, completely. So I guess I'm playing default Adam. <laughs> I don't know where any pallets are over here. Oh, hi. Sure. Sure. This is, this is what happens every time I have deliverance. Is that, like, I'll literally... I will literally like get chased first and like practically die over it. You don't break pallets yet with level, at level one, my boy. I need to not die first. Like that needs to be a huge part of this. It needs to be a huge part of uh, this whole entire thing. But he's probably gonna chase me until I die, so. There's no win win here. Oh well. No. Break the pallet. Break the pallet. That, okay. No skill checks? Brutal. <laughs> he 
Can you chase me, please? Like, I would not mind. Can you please chase me? That. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be kind of brutal for you because this is actually like not a bad loop at all. I was gonna say, yeah, you should probably break that. Keep running. There's no point. Hold W. Okay, it's fun. My TV's over there. I don't really have anything, do I? I'm guessing this pallet's done, right? It's cooked. Yeah, I can't really do much. <laughs> I was hoping she swing, damn. I think we're on our sixth character of the day right now. Oh my god, I literally ran into a gen. I'm so glad he doubled back. I forget about the remnant, bro. I haven't played this killer in forever. But there's a pallet right here. There is not. So I'm basically just running for no reason. There is a pallet here though. This is actually not a bad pallet to loot. He's zoning me to the corner. Nice, that's smart. If they could honestly just do gens, this actually wouldn't be too bad. Jeff is the go. I loop so much better when I play Jeff. I should just play Jeff like 24 seven. And I probably have like a highlight montage. Oh my god, this is so intense. He has Blood Warden. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Not even playing with that, my boy. Um, let's give her a last check real quick. But yeah, man, this is this was a great day as far as getting closer to finishing our challenge. And look at that. We are 15 survivors in out of 42. Um, at about, I mean, I'm going to have to count back the recording to see how far exactly where we are. Uh, but I believe we're about nine hours in and about 15 survivors down. So yeah, this is pretty good, man. And that will just about do it for my first three days of this challenge. And after eight hours, 58 minutes, and 12 seconds of recording, we are 15 characters completed within that time. And after all, I think that's pretty solid. I obviously don't think in this challenge I played perfect by any means. I kind of feel like I had a safer approach looking back at it. But I had to be realistic about my expectations. Some characters don't really have supporting builds and you really have to rely on your instinct and skill as an advantage when being in a disadvantage to killer experience. So with that being said, I learned my lesson today when it comes to that. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know. I cannot tell you the hours of work I put into this video to complete it and make it for you guys. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and like the video to be spread across the platform. I will see you in the next one. Peace.